the Institute of Physics at Academia Sinica in Taiwan is one of the world's leading centers for fundamental physics research. Our mission is to pursue excellence in fundamental research in the physics areas. We have about 45 to 50 faculty members with background in physics, material science and engineering. The particular strength of this institute is that we are government funded, we have a more stable resources support and one can do much more longer term project. This government funding has also enabled the institute to play a key role in high profile international projects. Our group is trying to explore the beginning of the universe with two approaches. One is using a particle physics detector in space on the International Space Station and the other is using gravitation waves. We cannot do this research only by one institute or one single country, but we have to collaborate with many, many institutes. And Academia Sinica is taking a leading role in Taiwan and also in the world to do such pure researches. The iron-based superconductor, the simplest structure, iron selenide, was discovered in this institute. And this has been one of the most studied iron-based superconductors. Uh, after we heard about this uh, iron-based superconductor that discovered by a Japanese group, we immediately went to look at the potential iron-selenium compound to see whether some interesting uh, result will come out. And it did. So we have discovered this iron-selenide uh, superconductor in 2008. So it was so exciting at that moment that um, we simply just you know, could not do anything else. Uh, everybody who was in the lab was uh, jumping up and down because that was uh, a, a phenomenon that I've been looking for for almost three quarter of a century. In the next few years, we're going to devote ourselves to the study of the emerging quantum materials, such as uh, interfacial superconductivity, a drift reflection, a rush by effect. In the last few years, we have uh, put in a lot of resources to put together many uh, different apparatus and connect them with the UHV pipeline. So without exposing to the air, uh, all this uh, material grown in one system can be transferred to other system. And this is the whole train for the uh, next few years for the condensed matter physics. The other areas is that we have a faculty that develop a very sensitive AFM that can detect very tiny bubbles underwater in the water solution interface with angstrom resolution. So these are new findings that has not been seen before. In 2005, we detected a new structure on graphite in water. Our advanced AFM technique allow us to detect fine structure that other group cannot detect. So we are constructing a new picture to understand the state and the behavior of gas in water and to solve scientific puzzles. Originally, I work on uh, soft condensed matter experiments. And with time, I get interested in cell biology. So I invented a method to use a microfluidic device, and then we can generate bubbles to generate uniform pore. Then we can create a scaffold made out of uniform pores. This new scaffold we created has been commercialized successfully. My research focused on the electronic structure of spectroscopy property of exactly quantum state matter, such as topological insulator, high temperature superconductor, and two-dimensional materials. Uh, there are several cases that the experimental realization came true only two or three months after our prediction. The reward is so immediately and uh, gratifying. In our group, our interest is in um, the physical property and its underlying mechanism of uh, unique quantum material, such as unconventional superconductor, topological materials, and transitional metal dichalcogenide. 
Hopefully someday we can actually use them in the real applications such as spintronics, data storage, quantum computing, or energies. I do service nonlinear optical spectroscopy. It is a sort of laser spectroscopy that can characterize structure and electronic properties of an interface at the atomic level. This topic is quite exciting because quantum material interface can host a lot of aesthetic properties which do not appear in layer bulk counterparts, such as interfere superconductivity and magnetism. Now, the Institute of Physics at Academia Sinica is looking to attract a new generation of faculty members from around the world. One of a big point for me to come in here as a postdoc is the world class research here and abundant support for young scientists. It allows international scholars to do research for deep scientific insights. I moved back to Taiwan and joined Institute of Physics last year. It's very lucky for me that my home country has this kind of wonderful place for research. The financial support is very stable. Uh, there is no teaching load. If you want to get to know students, you have opportunity to be affiliated with a university and teach there. We have a world-class gym and we also have uh, uh, many uh, activity groups uh, like yoga and uh, dance that the uh, faculty are encouraged to join. For the uh, family's point of view, uh, Academia Seneca provides uh, subsidized faculty housing as well as the child daycare. We form play group, so sometimes the parents, uh, one of us may go to the conference, then other parents can step in and we can take care of each other's kids. Taipei is also considered a very internationalized uh, uh, city, so which is great for uh, international scholars. So with its steady government-funded support, excellent facilities and groundbreaking research, the future looks bright for Academia Sinica. My hope is that we will be able to recruit more talent from um, all over the world with a different expertise so that we can actually combine uh, our strengths to study the important subject in the fundamental science. We will be a place uh, full of uh, very devoted, uh, talented, enthusiastic uh, physicists. And we will have uh, produced many exciting and interesting science.